Hello, my YouTube friends. If you've ever watched a live stream, you've probably seen stream labels. I use them on my main screen right up here to show subscribes, latest tips, and donations. It's a great way for folks to be recognized for supporting the stream. They're really easy to set up and totally free. So let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers. And it's really important for me to know that I'm actually doing the job well. So please take a moment and leave me a comment and let me know how I'm doing. While you're down there, click that thumbs up. It really helps other people find this video. And if you're not subscribed, take a second and subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you get notified about all the new content when it comes out so you can become a better live streamer too. We're going to use stream elements for our stream labels. Stream element is totally free. The link is in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Now you could do this in Streamlabs, but I feel that Stream Elements makes placement and testing so much easier. Here in Stream Elements, we're gonna to go to My Overlays, and then we're just going to click Create Blank Overlay up in the top right-hand corner. And we wanna go ahead and select the size of our stream. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080, and click Submit. And we're going to go up here and we're going to change the name. We're going to call this one Stream Labels. Then we're going to go to Add Widget and then Labels. And we're going to start out with the subscriber label and we're going to use the latest subscriber. And you can see this creates our little text here. You can change the position if you want, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense since you can move it around anywhere you want on the screen. We're gonna go into the text settings and we're gonna adjust our font. And there are hundreds of fonts in here. We're gonna choose impact, but you can go through this list. There are just so many. It's unbelievable how many fonts there are. But we'll go with impact. And if I scroll down here, you can see you can make this bold. You can change the text size. You can add all kinds of dynamic elements to the text if you like. We're just gonna leave it the way it is for now. We're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go and we're gonna add our tips and then latest and the latest tipper. And the process here is essentially the same, but you can see that this has latest tipper written in front of it. And we don't need that text because we're going to use this on an overlay that already has that information. So we're just gonna delete that and we're gonna have to go back and fix the subscribe one as well. But now we're just gonna go into the text settings and we're gonna set this so it has the same font as our other label. And there we go, so now we can just drag this down and we have our tips. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the subscriber one. So I will select that and we'll go into here and we're just going to delete the text latest subscriber so we only see the name, that's all we need. And we're gonna go ahead and click this plus again. We're gonna go to labels and then we're going to add our super chats. We're gonna go with the latest super chat as well. We're going to delete the word super chat out of here because we already have our stuff labeled in our overlay. And we're gonna select our font same one we selected for the other two and we'll drag this over here and then we're just going to go ahead and spread these out a little bit and click save and the last thing we have to do after we save is click this little link right here and that copies the link to our clipboard so we're all set let's get this set up in obs let's flip over into obs here and we have our overlay so we just want to populate last subscriber last super chat and last donation and the first thing we need to do is go to our sources and select browser source. And we're gonna call this one labels. We're gonna put that URL in there and we're going to change it to 1920 by 1080, which is the size of our stream. And we're all set. We can just click okay. And you can see that our labels do appear there. Awesome. So now we just have to get them located in the right spot. So we're gonna go back over in stream elements and we're gonna just move these around. We're gonna zoom out of our view a little bit and we'll move these around so they're in the proper locations. Once you have them placed, you just click save and when you go back into OBS, they're gonna be in that new location. So we still have to continue to move them around a little bit. So we're gonna move these. Now, if you wanted these to be a different color text or something, in my case, these would probably stand out a little more if they were yellow, but uh, that's really easy to do in the text piece. Once you move them again, you just click save 
you can go over and see if they are any better. And you just kind of have to keep going back and forth, moving your assets until they end up in the proper location. And we'll move these up just a little bit, click save, flip back over. All right, so they're basically on the same level. I just wanna move them all the way over to the edge of the underline so that if we get longer names or something like that, it's not a problem. So we'll just kind of adjust these one more time. Well, hopefully one more time. We'll click save, go back over into OBS. And we're getting pretty close. I think last super chat is probably good. We just need last subscriber and last donation. Move to the left a little bit. So we're gonna do that. You can see how easy this is to do. You just click save when you go into OBS. It already is populated. Really, really simple. Becca's probably over a little too far to the left with our last donation, but we're getting really close. There we go. I think we might be all set. Click save. We go back over into OBS. And there we go. I think everything looks pretty good. And these will change whenever you get a subscribe, a tip, or a super chat automatically. You don't have to do anything. It's awesome. That was easy. If you want to see how to create this epic full screen alert, you should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.